Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you on how to use GPT plus Google Docs. So starting off, you want to download our add-ons. So you're going, you're going to want to head over to extensions, add-ons, and then click on manage add-ons. And from here, you search up GPT plus Google Docs, which will be right here. And once you have installed the add-on, you want to head back over here, back to extensions, and it should pop up right here. Now we're going to click on start GPT. And once I do that, a small window will pop up. So over here to start us off, if you don't know how to use this, we said we made some examples for you. So as you can see at the top right here, we got a GPT examples tab. And over here at the drop down, you can select any example. I'm going to select write a blog post using your keywords. So what it will do is it will automatically set the set the prompt and automatically submit it to the configuration. And as you can see, it already generated the response. I asked for a hundred word blog post about the benefits of yoga, include keywords such as flexibility, mindfulness, and stress relief. And as you can see, my action was a custom prompt and I asked for it to write a blog post. And once I chose the example which I wanted to do, it automatically did it by itself. Over here, we got the response. And over here, if we hover over the click to see GPT response, we can see the additional information, the max amount of tokens that can be used for this response. I set it to 1001 and it used 172 tokens and it took it 6.119 seconds. The temperature is the accuracy of your words, which ties to your response. We're going to keep it at zero. It's going to be 100% accurate. And we can see the model text that it used. If your response doesn't appear in the document, click to see GPT response. And once you do that, it will pop up a window which shows the response itself. And from here, you can click insert at the end of the document, which will put it in the document or you can copy it to your clipboard. But if you don't want to do that and you want it to appear in your document every time, you can go to additional settings and turn on this check mark right here. We also got history right here. So if I happen to delete this whole thing and I want to restore it, I can just click on this and it will regenerate it for me. You can also clear your history by clicking on clear and in the additional settings, this is where we can also change our model temperature max response tokens. So for me, I'm going to keep the temperature at zero to make the words 100% accurate. And I want my maximum response tokens to be 1001. That means every time when it makes a response, it can only use a maximum of 1001 tokens. And the max you can input is 4000. You can also add your own user API key by creating one in OpenAI. If you register for an OpenAI API key, you'll get a lot of tokens for that. And once you have registered for OpenAI, you can get your API key from there and then insert it in here. Just a note, we do, we do not store your API key anywhere. It's only private to you and it's never public to anyone else.